the, the next one. Former chairman of the body of ventures, BOB, Wale Olanipekun, SAN, has condemned the call for an interim national government, describing the call as invitation to anarchy. Olanipekun warned those behind the call to immediately perish such because it is a situation that would consume everyone, including those in support of it. Olani Pekun, who cited cases from developed countries where election outcome had been disputed, urged those aggrieved to exploit the opportunities provided by the Constitution and the statute, having gone to court. He recalled the unpleasant experience the nation had under the last interim government experiment of chief, late chief Ernest Shonekon in the country, describing it as a win that would blow no one any good. Wole Olanipekun, a respected senior advocate of Nigeria and a former member of the Nigerian Bar Association, because it's as if it's not like a sing song. Yeah. We were about mm -hmm. to transit to, mm -hmm. you know, another administration. All of a sudden, I don't know where that thing popped up from. and. Every day you keep hearing interim government, interim government, on the basis of what I don't understand. You see, in this country, the history of this country, there are a few people that want to sustain stunted growth for Nigeria. They don't want the, the country to breathe. And these are very few elements who have been controlling Nigeria since the 1960s. Mm. If you look at our history, um, all the head of states we have had, or civilian head of states, were, have been rotating, you know, the choice of very few people. You talk of um, Gowon, you talk of Danjuma, you talk of uh, Obasanjo, you talk of uh, Basha. Since night, and they were the actors, you know, in the coups of 1960s. Since that time, for about almost going to 60 years now, you must visit they them. have been holding the country, you know, like this. If you look at the civilian heads of state and um, president we have had, from Shagari, they brought him in. After that, the next civilian government, Abiola, they were the one that brought him. They didn't hand over to him. Late, they are the one that brought President Obasanjo anyway, who was also part of them. Buhari that is going now was part of them. He became two of them became president and head of state twice. It has been rotating among those nine people. Danjuma was the only one among them that did not become head of head state, but was the defense minister. This is the first time we are having a truly civilian democratic president that is not a product because they didn't want these winners. They never wanted them. They yeah. wanted to impose. They were singing with the same. Yes. Uh, so uh, people have been manipulating the oil sector, manipulating all sorts of things. They don't want to let go. You can see how they are running up and down. But mm -hmm. it is too late because over 20 million people have elected someone. So some five people, six people now sit down and say, we are, we, we are wiser than this 20 million, over 20 million people. The whole world we laugh at you. We've had a similar experience when Shoneko was brought in. Interim government, that's not like interim government, it's military rule. It's just, you know, the Minister, of defense, the minister of Defense was so strong yes, now, under they Shoneko. Brought in no, Shoneko. Abacha. Abacha was the Minister After of Defense. After three months, they would mm. just use him to stabilize. That's why they call him Fidia, you know, sitting with one slice of your buttock, buttocks. He's their candidate. They brought him in after three months, they edged him out, and then came in full force. So any attempt to talk about interim government, in fact, are you saying that you did it 30 years ago? People were patient enough. There were demonstrations. They grounded the it's country. Like People were forced so. to leave the country in droves, mm -hmm. in thousands. You know, the economy collapsed. We became a patriot state. The whole world was talking about us and abusing and stunted us. Now, what kind of country are you? 30 years after. You want to bring Nigeria nearly experienced civil war during that June 12th. I'm telling you, a lot of things happened. People were patient, they waited. Now there was an election. They have elected someone. That time there was even they will stop the announcement of the result. This one you have announced the election. We have known the winner. The state governors, I see say we have known the winner. I now say you want to remove them and put into the government. Ah, that's a very crazy thing to do. For people to even think of that thing. Mm. Ah, it tells you the infinite capacity of people to underestimate the will and determination of Nigerians. I think nobody will ever try that kind of If they try it, look, they just want to let this country burn. And they should be conscious of the implication on West African subregion. So as far as the whole world is concerned, we are waiting for the swearing in 
of the people that have been elected. And we hope from that level we can move the country forward. Jude, it's as if you know our politicians they are used to this. Um, they are not used to this spirit of fair play. That yes, when there's a, a winner, everybody will gather together and say congratulations, you won. Next time I'll try. But I own now the kind of politics you are playing. If it's not me. That's when you have somebody that came third in an election who say, it is my election, it is my mandate, it was stolen from me. I want to retrieve my mandate. Is it I retrieve my mandate or the roof will come down? That's the tone. That's the rhetoric that you are getting to hear from politicians now. You know, how people came to convince themselves that the person who came third was actually the winner of the election is... What still baffles me because I, I am as curious as any Nigerian to see how Peter Obi wants to prove that he won this election. I'm as curious because it will be the eighth wonder of the world for him to successfully prove that he won this election. And you can see that his supporters are the noisiest, they are even noisier than the man who came second. That's Kwabaka. Yes, they are noisier than Atiku. Because the problem is, Atiku in the north, Atiku won those states. Largely, he won those key states in the north. In fact, I would say he won all the key states in the north. Strategic states. He won them. This, mm. The biggest states, yes. apart from Kaduna, yeah. he won them. Mm. Now, what is he going to be complaining about? that he didn't win those states with the margin that he wanted? I mean, if that was the case, how many people are protesting from northern Nigeria? How many protests have you seen from uh, Kano, from uh, Kaduna, from uh, Borno? Or maybe Peter will be saying he won this Kano, Kaduna, Kasina. But he debated from was, so, uh, Maybe he was robbed. In those you, know, you, know, you know some of the... Voter suppression here. Yeah. You know, um, some of the people actually came up with dodgy opinion polls. They actually gave him higher marks. Mm. They gave him a higher possibility of winning Kano than Kwan Kwaso. That It was at that point that I gave up on them that anybody would think that it will be can defeat Kwankwaso. Kwankwaso who did not do it, he did not do rally in Kano and he still get he still got those votes. Mm. Even the mm. uh, the episode mm. that he defeated they have considered defeat already. He didn't do a rally. He was planning to do a rally at the uh, rally too for that day. and the police felt look if we allow the two oh, blood of them yes it will lead to so it didn't happen. So in spite of not doing a rally, you know how many rallies APC had? I know that Ashwaju must have gone to Kano at least three or four mm. times. Mm. And yes, mm. yet somebody didn't do rally and he got those votes. That is the person that some opinion polls claimed that Obi was going to defeat in Kano. Maybe now, maybe they, are, they still believe that those opinion polls, including uh, the one by... Um, I tell the Peter side. side yeah. Maybe they still mm. believe that those opinion polls that they did with only people who had Android phones. How many people in those rural areas mm. where they don't even have lights, where there is no product? When they start coming out, mm -hmm. you say what? I remember my uh, uh, colleague Ike Okunta when Bashir Tofa uh, was going to contest. He said, "Jide, let's go to." So fast uh, mm. village. In Kano. And then we went there. I was the one who interviewed Bashir Tofa. He didn't grant an interview in the months leading to that election, except the one he granted me. I was the one who interviewed him. Mm. The kind of people I saw, crowd, people, not like they brought them from somewhere, who were resident in that, mm. in that uh, community. community. God. Mm. So, and... These are largely farmers and traders. How many of them can operate an Android phone? You are doing opinion poll based on Android phone. And when the opinion poll doesn't go against you, you want to bring the roof down. You are saying you are the one who won the election. Which election did you win? The facts show that you didn't win this election. People, 
I wonder how today you have changed. Somebody sent me a bad day message. He said, ah, I love you, but you have changed. Because, because I refuse to agree that it will be won the election. If that is what will turn you to my enemy, good luck to you. But I know that I'm standing on the truth. This election <laughs> has been won and lost. Mm. Those delusional people who went to the uh, defense headquarters to kneel down, mm. <laughs> that military should take over. I took Have they look, been told stories? Uh, yes, I look at them. I watched the video yes, again yesterday, mm -hmm. and I saw the age average, and I saw, oh, that's why. Mm. This is mm. mm. generation. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mm. 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 They, don't they don't know what military they do no, means. Because they they, the last administration was under uh, yes. General Salam yes. Abaka, and he left office you know. in 1998. You know, yes. Abdul yes. Salami was even a gentleman. He spent 10 months. They do come and come and see military rule. No, under Baja. <laughs> no, my those my, five years. My thesis was on press freedom under military rule. A case study of Sanya Bacha. That Where was what I wrote to my press freedom. Yes. <laughs> that, that was what I wrote my BSc uh, thesis on. I was reading the someone who was talking about the, press freedom. Which press freedom? You would have cell phone. We were not allowed to. Mm. For where they were, we were talking. No. Did you remember? Yeah. We used to talk about uh, Republic of Benin. Yes. Ghana. Yeah, that women, market us, women yeah. that they had cell phone. Yeah. That time. We saw in Ghana, in everywhere, they, they had cell phone. It was a like luxury to us. They drive around, they pick people, load them. You don't even know what happens to them. Even if you are his mate, the way hmm. Abacha dealt with hmm. <laughs> Sheu Musa Yaradua, hmm. his boss in the army, you are moving him from uh, the, the prison here in Lagos. Hmm. He ended up in Abaka Liki prison hmm. and died there. Hmm. These boys don't know what they're talking they about. They don't know. They don't know. People who were people who were tortured in the DMI underground cell. Yeah. They don't know. Tortured. Some of them died. Yes. Some people, many people were get, getting missing. In the last how many weeks, ah. uh, Richard Akinola, our friend, he has been doing the kind of compendium. Go to his Facebook page. Mm. Go and check those that were tortured. So those that were arrested, so those that were missing. missing. He, he has been doing the kind of compendium on the military road. You, <laughs> you need to. Uh, you, Terrible days. So many people. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. And you know the unfortunate thing about this unreading generation mm. is they believe that it is their own mm. view that has to be correct. If, your if you disagree with them, you then yeah. I'm telling you, you are not a human being. I'm telling you. Now you that you don't even have to be a 40 year old, a 50 year old to be able to talk about military rule. Just read. Because it's documented, read. for God's sake. It's documented. documented. As I said before, I said, look, I did not see Yom Kippur war. Hmm. I did not see the Six Day War between hmm. the Israeli allies, uh, between Israel and the Arab world. But I can tell the story. Ben Kololari got a fax. Yeah. Yes. And the fax he got, it was paraded as one of the coupies. Yeah. And the fax was, was like look. That. Okay. Um, the, do you know? Do you know what the fax was Femi about? Fala, that was just you know what the fax was about? Reason, nothing. The person who was going to defend. One of the coupies. Mm -hmm. Now the defense was what if he wanted him to see, mm -hmm. so that he can help in terms of the advocacy for freedom. Just L M O Fabi, who was head L M O Fabi, who was head of the mm -hmm. Navy's yeah, yeah. legal department. department, is from my 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 town. My dad has said I should not call it village anymore. He's from my town. Mm -hmm. They picked him up. Tried him for coup. It's the same, it's the same uh, uh, charge in the real sense. Mm. This is your, uh, this is help me pass this on to someone. Because Fadile was involved. Mm. Mm. And mm. the next thing, people that they felt over time had been aggrieved, who had been cheated in mm. the army mm. over the years, some brilliant people mm. that they, were, they made them to suffer. They now went and was picking them one by one. They because they felt in. that the situation would make them they one by What did, what did uh, 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 Guadabe, for example, what did he do? The interview you had with um, Duncan Bali. Yes. I still saw the back page day before yesterday, when the wife reacted, that Duncan Bali said perhaps mm. 
that he cannot say categorically that oh. those guys were... That's Vasako. Uh, 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 Vasako. Vasako. Mama, Vasako. Uh, mama. Oh, he Mama, said, Vasako. Yes, he yes, said, he said there was no evidence. That I sat down that. with him in a Koyi, club, a Koyi golf club. And he was drinking his uh, 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 club beer. I mean, uh, my, my favorite beer at that time was Gouda. I was drinking my Gouda. And he said, at that time, there was no evidence in the recess of the world that they kept thinking, what could have caused they just had to rope these people the that, they, that they were good friends, very good friends. One was, uh, uh, was uh, even, um, what was it called? Um, um, best man mm. to the other. He said they must have and failed to forgive one another. Mm. You know? So, uh, there are so many brilliant people like that in the army just wasted on account of a uh, coup. Yes, yes. Just wasted. Hmm. When Ajay was arrested and kept in a cemetery for about two years, when he came back from that cemetery, he was no longer himself. He died just about three years ago. Yes. One of the most brilliant mm. military officers this country has ever produced. So many of them. And so many of them, even including journalists. Some we kept in solitary confinement. Yeah. Yeah. Those, 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 no. what, what was Kunle Ajibade's crime? Mm. They came to our office, they wanted to pick me. I was the one who wrote the story. And Kunle Ajibade was, was the editor. editor. Yes. And they picked him up. And you know, when, me, I, that, if I had gone to, to office early that day, they would have picked me. But uh, Faleke's house was not far from the office, so I was still lounging. The last thing, because I came here to hide for two months. Now, when they came to that place and they didn't see me, they then went to our second office. That is where Swiss Sensation is now. Mm. It was there Baba. that they picked Kunle mm. They picked him the first time, uh, they took him away. This DSS here, they mm. released him. Chaki -chaki. And then they started arguing among them. Why did you release him? Mm. Who told you to release him? And they. They had to uh, keep, keep and, and pick him up the second time. That's how he was sentenced mm. to jail. He, did, he was not a coup plotter. Yeah. How can they only yeah. so they Tomorrow, plan? they've not revisited that case. Yes. And a lot of them yeah. like that. Yeah. Five yeah. was like taken from the Republic, abducted from the Republic, and taken to DMI here. And kept there for for Be months. there, sit, be there, be talking about telling national yeah. government. You don't, don't even know what they are talking about. You don't know what about. they are talking about. They're talking they're absolute rubbish. rubbish. Uh, mobile thing <laughs> rubbish. Like they will, they will not you allow you to use that kind of setback. Achieve that aim. <laughs> mm. We have gone through it. We will not we like it. It's not a good story at all. No sense, sense of history. Oh. Don't read. <laughs> Lazy, ambitionless, unreading generation. Executive.